that which comes from you. We give you full authority and we give you thanks for that which you have presented to us before the foundation of the world. In your name we pray and by faith we believe. Amen. Amen. Please welcome the founder of Raptor Triumphant Church of God and Global Ambassador, Reverend Dr. John. Can you put your hands together and give God a praise? Yes, just please give him the praise. Thank you. You may have your seat. It is a privilege and an honor to be present with you once more. To God be the glory. I just want to greet Dr. Oki Walker, Pastor Gordon, evangelist at my right hand, Mother Walker, evangelist, gardener, and saints. I greet you in the name of Jesus. Just sit once more and look in your faces. I just, I just give God thanks. Don't expect what you used to hear from me, honestly. And don't expect what you hear from Dr. Walker and Evangelist Gardner. I'm learning from them now. Being serious because what I've been through, it's because of their prayers. Come on, amen. Amen. It's because you pray. Not long ago, I couldn't write my name. I couldn't read it. I don't understand it. I don't. But I have a woman that lived with me for the last 52 years. And there are times I look at her and I'm sure she doesn't know what I'm thinking because I'm saying, what material makes her up? You say you love, how you do it? I look a little bit, maybe I look at when she was 14 years old. I never slip, change a minute. Eat her cold, black or white, distance. It never made a, a difference. And there's so many times I asked her, but when I left, did you think that what if I didn't return? No, I didn't. And when I see what she has done for me, in my life, I cried more than I smiled because I knew that God loved me, but so many came through less than me and didn't make it back. I just give him the praise for what he has done. So just pray for me because there's still a process I'm going through. Be able to do what I used to do, say what I used to say, and understand what I used to understand. The attempts of my wife teach me how to. This is how it sounds. Me? <laughs> okay. But I said, thank you, Mom. Thank you for all you have done. 
I'll be too short. But believe the Lord. Amen. It's, it's not about me. Amen. It's not about the church. It's about who is in the church. Come on. Come on. Come on. And I never liked the devil. And I knew he didn't like me. And he's, can you imagine what you've done for three weeks? Don't know if you're dead or alive. Don't know anything. Don't understand anything. The fulfillment of my daughter's prayer sent to me that God did to tell me that you will not die and you will preach again. And I didn't even know I was sick. I was just left out in the cold. But I thank God. I'm not going to be long, but very short. Casting all your tears on me. All right now. For I care it for you. First Peter 7, 5 or 7 through 11. Be sober. Be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, talk about the devil. Your adversary, the devil, has a roaring line. You know what the line is? Walking about. Seeking whom he may devour. Whom resist steadfast. Rested steadfast in faith. In faith. Knowing that the same affection are accomplished in your brethren that are in the Lord. But the God of all grace who hath called us into eternal glory by Jesus Christ after that he hath suffered a while and made you perfect. Establish. Strengthen. Settle. Come on now. To him the glory, mm -hmm. dominion, and power. Jesus, Jesus. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Saints and loved ones, let me greet you all in the name of Jesus. It is God answering your prayer, which I am here today. If the devil had his way, I would have been gone. But when man say no, God says yes. yes. When man says no, God says yes. I want to say to Dr. Walker, Dr. Assistant Pastor Gardner, Saints, Reverend Gardner, Mom of this church, I want to greet you in the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Greetings. Greetings. The mother who stood so much, helped me, support me, and strengthen me, allow me to be here right now. So I just want to go back just to the theme, and that's all I'm going to use is stand firm in faith. 
I want, I want us to understand that when you're saved, when you're born again, you're transformed from who you were. That's right. And it's not because of where you're coming from or where you think you're going, but it's the God that takes care of you. That's right. Amen. I want us to understand that when we are called a saint, a born again, a Christian, we are taking on a different humanity. We're not what you used to know. Uh, we're not even what we used to know or believe about ourselves. Because Jesus Christ came in our lives, transformed who we were, made us a different person. So we're called born again. Right. We're born again. We're changed. We're not subject oh, to whatever we used to know, see, and understand. Yes. I don't understand what my life is. I don't know where I'm going, but God knows. And when God is taking care of you, you are taking care of. What's the difference? Because you're born again. You're changed. And that's the, the nature that you used to. You don't use to it anymore. The path that you used to travel, you don't trap it anymore. The things you understand Here. Hey. Come on, come on. Oh, thank you. 
That's right. Bless him, Lord. And because I've got so many people, because they're making so much down here, they're not going up here. No. I don't Come on. <laughs> because this is affecting the path that they need to go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Come on. So because it's not associated with it, they don't move as they're supposed to move. Amen. You see, I want you to understand what the church is. What the church is. What the church is. What a believer is. What a born again is. I was sick and couldn't pray. But you could not stay up with your praying. Hey. When I got sick, I know the day. Holy Ghost. I put on my clothes. I went downstairs. I went into the emergency. Went to the ambulance. And whatever you call it. <laughs> I didn't know anything else. Three weeks followed, I didn't know one single thing. I didn't know. Come on. I didn't talk to anybody. I didn't I didn't cry. I didn't feel anything that I was conscious of. Come right? on. Come on. Yes, but you couldn't pray. You couldn't you, you were crying. I never think my son, so powerful man would have cried so much. I didn't think his wife would have prayed so much. I didn't think my Because I didn't know. I just sleep. I just sleep. But people, I want you to understand what you call upon God. Come on, come on. The God that you serve, mm. the God that you trust, yes. the God that you commit yourself to, when you call. God 
Jesus healed you. Glory to God. Before you go home, you have to get a special seat to sit up. You can't walk. The walker. They got the walk. And then push you here and push you there and hold your hand. When you get upstairs, you don't come downstairs. <laughs> so yes, ma'am. Yes, 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 ma'am. Thank you. They brought Walker. the walker. Mom put me on the walker. Push me down. Wheelchair, wheelchair. I said, wheelchair. When I go home, I'm not wearing it. Not, that's not not I'm not walking in it. You won't push me with it. I told her that. And she pushed me. We're gonna get home. I said, Dad, you wait, you wait. I hope in the car seat. I walk upstairs. Went all the way upstairs. Went in my room. When she come, Dad, Dad. Yeah. No more cheers. No more cheers. No more cheers. No more cheers. No what? 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 Because the church has prayed. The very nurse that stood over me, she said, God has delivered you. So when God has delivered you, you are delivered. Nobody can come. Oh. You can't come. You can't take it out. Nobody in the world. I'm the 
will understand and compare, compare, compare to what you, you get from me. But what do you ask for? I ask your wisdom. Mm -hmm. yes. I ask your knowledge. Yes, sir. I ask understanding. So that I will be able to lead Israel the way I ought to. God said, understand that, yes, but you're more than that. Yes, sir. Amen. Glory to God. So you're praying for some financial blessings. There's more than that.
28, 29 days in hospital. Don't try it. Come on. It's not gonna work. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So the socialists are saying, special, specialists, specialists said, don't give him any surgery. Not gonna be this makes sense. He's not gonna live. Every Goliath. Amen. He shall live and not die. Look at God. Come on. Come He's on. not gonna live. Come on. Stand in, don't put on, don't do anything. Mm -hmm. Give him medication. Jesus. Let him sleep. Let him be. He's set the three. He's not gonna live. That's what he thinks. God said yes. Let him go soon. Yes, touch him. Today, church, I'm a different man. Yes. Amen. I'm a different man. Be a total different man. Glory to God. Bless you. Bless you. It is your prayer. You are prayed, and God answers. God has delivered. He has healed. In closing. Glory to God. If I tell you that God can heal you, he can. don't ask who tell you. I'm telling you. If I said cast your tears on me because I care for you, I have to do that. Why? Because you know. You're a living testimony. You know you are praying. Come on. Yes. You know what I was going through. Yes. You understand everything before me. Mm -hmm. Where am I right now? Standing before you. Standing. So, raise your hand and close it right where you are. And you need a healing? Just sit there. You need healing? You have, a, you have a problem? You have something that you're dealing with? So you don't want to tell anybody? Doctor tells you what you're going through? And A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and you. you your test and your test and it's still there. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. So go, 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 go. Hey! Hey! In the name of Jesus. You have healed me. The saints that pray for me, some of them, they're sick. They have issues. They have concern. They need your help. Financially, they need your help. Just as how, Lord, in your mercy, you came and you touched me. Ladies and gentlemen, he will do the same for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, believe it. And not long ago, no, this brother is telling you. You're going to have some testimony right here. Yes.
the place where we love people and he will love you back to life. Amen. 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 We invite you to join us. Uh, tell us what God is doing for you. Tell us, uh, um, just, just come and just experience God with us. Amen. So thank you for joining us one more time in Jesus' name.